Hello and welcome to the GDI Alcor rig. We hope you had a pleasant flight here. You will now be shown this brief induction video, so please pay attention. With the help of this video, we aim to communicate crucial messages, important policies and emergency procedures while you're on the rig. If you have any doubt after the presentation, please don't hesitate to contact the rig manager or the HSE officer. But before we start, here is a short message from Golf Drilling's COO. Welcome on board the rig Arco. On Arco, we work as a big team to establish the safest workplace on this planet. We commit to achieve the safest environment on the rig, which can be only achieved by all of the personnel working on the rig. We, as a big family, need to make every effort to take care of each other, help each other, support each other in order to deliver highest standard of safety and performance. You don't want to make this possible. Please watch this induction video with utmost precaution and learn our safety requirements and procedures, which will definitely help you and has to create the safety culture on the rig. Safety for our life is what we look at. Let's work together in a safe, healthy, and good work environment. Thank you very much. Upon your first arrival at the rig, it's mandatory for you to register your presence in a log book in the heli lounge so that we know you are on board. Please be aware that it is strictly prohibited to carry any drugs or alcohol, mobile phones and cameras on the rig. It is not permitted to wear any type of jewellery such as rings and neck chains outside the accommodation as it may get caught up in the equipment and result in an accident. Your valuables can be deposited in a safe deposit box provided by the rig. The wearing of flip-flops or open-toe shoes on board the rig is strictly prohibited. Smoking is only allowed in the designated smoking areas. Every visitor is expected to strictly follow the galley rules, as these are meant for your safety and safety of others on the rig. All prescription medication you have must be reported to the rig doctor on your arrival. You will also be required to complete a medical declaration form concerning any potentially serious medical or allergic conditions. You must consult the rig doctor and tell your supervisor if you feel you are unable to perform your duties at full capacity. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, are meant for your own personal safety and it's important to understand its use and application. Hard hats, safety glasses, hearing protection for high noise areas, coveralls, proper gloves, safety boots and specialist PPE for fall protection are all mandatory to be worn when you conduct any job anywhere on the rig. Make sure you do not enter the rig's living quarters with your dirty coveralls. Please place them in the designated area. Entering the accommodation area wearing your safety boots is strictly prohibited. The rig has comprehensive emergency response system in place for all potential emergency situations. Your duties during a specific emergency situation has been clearly specified on the station bill. In addition, your assigned lifeboat is also indicated. The HSE officer will explain you the action you must take during a specific emergency situation. The emergency alarm tones used at this facility are as follows. The fire alarm on your rig sounds like this. The hydrocarbon alarm sounds like this. The H2S gas alarm sounds like this. And the abandoned rig alarm sounds like this. In the event of any of these alarms are sounded and you are off duty, look for your life jackets in your stateroom and when on duty at your designated muster point. 
Details on where to find primary and alternate muster points can be found on the welcome card, which will be handed over to you by the HSE officer after this briefing. Remember to connect all fasteners and tuck in any loose ends of your life jacket while putting them on and stand by for further instructions. In an event of a fire emergency, know where your fire hose stations are, as well as the location of the fire extinguishers. There are dampeners, vital shutdown and combustible gas systems installed in the rig. In an event of an H2S emergency, carefully and promptly don your breathing apparatus and gather at your designated muster station. Plug into the cascade system when mustering. In the event we need to abandon the rig, don your life jackets and when instructed, get in the lifeboat in an orderly manner. Do not panic as it will only add to the chaos. The all clear alarm sounds like this and means that the emergency situation is now over and it's okay to return to your normal duties. Frequent safety drills are held at the rig to make sure you're familiar with different alarms and it's mandatory that all personnel participate. If you see a man overboard, immediately throw the life ring and call for assistance. Keep watching the man in the sea while contacting the radio room so that a rescue can be made. In order to preserve and do minimum harm to our environment, GDI has been certified as being ISO 14001 compliance. Do not throw any waste including trash, old PPE, cigarette butts or any other waste associated with your work or leisure into the water. Any leaks or spills of oil, mud, fuel or any other substance must be contained and reported to the rig superintendent via your supervisor immediately. Place your trash in the correct waste bin and skips. Conserve energy and water by making sure the machinery and equipment is switched off after use. The following HSE systems and their requirements must be well understood by everyone at this facility. Incident reporting, permit to work, lockout tagout policy, safety meetings, stop program, chemical safety and MSDS. You are expected to report all injuries, illness, unsafe acts and conditions or near misses immediately via your supervisor to the rig superintendent or HSE officer. Do not touch or disturb incident site until investigation is completed unless it's to assist a casualty. Make the area safe and stop the problem from getting worse. The permit to work is mandatory for carrying out most of the work outside the normal scope of drilling activities. There are different kinds of work permits which you must be familiar with. You should be able to identify lockout tag out warning devices placed on machinery and processes at these facilities. They're meant to protect you by isolating energy and process exposure. Ask the rig superintendent or HSE officer via your supervisor for further details. Regular HSE meetings are held and it's mandatory for all personnel to attend. You are expected to contribute actively in these meetings, bringing forward any safety matter that you have noticed. The STOP programme is a behavioural safety system that helps record both good and at-risk behaviour and share the observation with the entire crew during the safety meetings. This helps us to learn from others' experience and communicate how we can make our operations a safer place to work. STOP is a totally no-blame, no-name programme and everyone is encouraged to participate with ease. 
If you are working with chemicals, use extra care and check the MSDS sheets for the correct PPE. Be sure you know where the eye wash and shower stations are located. These eye wash stations and showers are to be function tested and confirmed OK before starting chemical mixing. Never carry anything on the stairways unless one hand is free for the handrails and never rush or run. Remember to use the trailing hand technique and maintain three points of contact when ascending. Work on the rig often involves heavy and potentially dangerous equipment. Never walk directly under or close to any suspended load which could create a danger to you. Make sure that you are aware of lifting operations above your head and around you. Only the designated bank's man is allowed to signal the crane operator. And obey the rules regarding air hoist and man riding operations. Please keep clear of the helideck and the helideck escape routes during helicopter operations. The use of the helideck for exercising or any other activity is at the sole discretion of the rig superintendent. Please check with the rig superintendent or the rig HSE officer beforehand. GDI operates its facilities to the highest of international HSE standards and practices. If you see an unsafe condition or work practice, it is your duty to stop immediately. Once you have intervened, then report it immediately using a stop card. Only constant vigilance prevents accidents and the whole crew works together to make GDI Alcor a safer place. As a critical member of our team, we expect you to show a high level of commitment. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your supervisor or GDI HSE officer immediately. Thank you for your time, effort and commitment to safety. And don't forget, no job is so important that we cannot take the time to do it in a safe manner. Music